from sound from uh, shaken to this time where we have so many fatwas coming uh, from different scholars as per se uh, who allow themselves different things but do not allow things to the masses uh, whereas uh, Imam Navavi here uh, he would allow he would make it easier for people and make it things difficult for himself uh, how do we kind of reconcile on that uh, and the other question that I had is like uh, almost answered by you in uh, all the different answers uh, where that he would uh, uh, but it's just that, that abstaining something uh, or from something which is uh, like a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like the food that he has allowed us uh, but abstaining from it due to taqwa uh, just kind of you know, extension of the thought on that inshallah regarding the first question see it is a generalization that I uh, beg to differ with you. Will you come and say that there are scholars who would make things forbidden for the masses and would make it permissible for themselves? I would believe that these would be hypocrites rather than scholars. How would this be? When, uh, uh, I, I, and, and you have to bring evidence without mentioning names so if you come and tell me that the grand mufti of saudi arabia says that dealing in riba dealing with usury is forbidden getting a loan from a bank is forbidden and we find out that he himself is dealing in riba and he is lending people in riba and taking interest from them yes this is hypocrisy this is he's not a scholar he would not be a scholar but to generalize and say there are scholars like this, and there are plenty of them who would make these things haram for the masses, and they would make it permissible from themselves. I think that this is a bit unfair, because we don't have track record, and if we did, we would label these so-called scholars to be hypocrites, or at least not worthy of giving fatwa. What use is it to me that someone comes on TV well shaven, and when he is asked about uh, growing the beard, he says, yes, this is mandatory, and it is must that every Muslim uh, should uh, make every Muslim male should uh, grow his beard, and he himself is clean shaven. Would I accept his uh, rhetoric? Definitely not. Therefore, uh, I'd like to differ with you in, in this concept and Allah knows best.